kick into this. All right. Yeah. Three, two, one. Rocks off newscast experience with Aaron and Dave and uh, special guests this week, Aaron. You what you want to do the honors? Oh, all the way from northern Kentucky. Three, three days under. There you go. And the live studio audience. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, man. guys. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, I appreciate it. you having me on. We got so. Patrick from Three Days Under. Yes. On and uh, I I'm assuming you're the lead guy. Um, I guess you would call it that. All right. <laughs> I'm just a guy. I, I'm the guy who gets up there and makes weird noises that people tend to like. So okay. <laughs> so. All right. Well, if it works for you, man, it works, right? So far. Um, I, I was checking you out on uh, Spotify, and you got some great stuff. And I mean, it's really well produced too. So are you guys producing your own stuff or do you got somebody working with you? The last two songs, um, Bleeding Through and their new single, Shadows, we did ourselves. And anything prior to that, um, a guy here locally, Radical Sound Company, he, um, he um, recorded, mixed, mastered, produced, all that stuff. So, but then we realized we could do it ourselves, save ourselves some money, and we're happy with, uh, we're happy with what's coming out. So, yeah, yeah, it sounds great. Sounds Thank great. You. Sounds like you got somebody... You know, I, I like I said before, it sounds like you got a Bob Rock or something sitting on the other side of the of the glass. And man, our our bass player Jamie Adams, that guy is, um, and he's not. He wouldn't be mad if I said that he's full blown nerd. So <laughs> he, he, he is, man. He's he was an analyst in the army, and so and that was years ago. So now his OCD and his tech, technological skills. Just, I mean, he shoots all our music videos, edits them, records all our music, mixes and masters it. So, yeah, I mean, we couldn't be more blessed to have somebody like that guy doing it for us. Doesn't so. every band need a nerd? You know, yes. like the tech guy yeah. who's like, this doesn't sound right. And everybody, like, hey, let's just play. And the guy's like, no, 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 We're, it's off somewhere. See, and I'm that type of person. I'm the audiophile that if I, I, the strangest little thing doesn't sound right to me, I'm like, nope, doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound yep, right. That's that's Jamie. And, and everybody and else is like, everybody else is like, what? It sounds fine. You know, it's kind of like that movie um, uh, Rockstar. You, did you see Rockstar, Patrick? You know, yeah, when, Steel when, Dragons, bro. Yeah. When the beginning where where uh, uh, Marky Mark's trying to tell him, no, it's that ping. And you know what I'm talking yeah. about? All yeah. Right. Aaron doesn't know now, what I'm talking about, but now I'm going to be it's stand up and shout. It's going to be stuck in my head. For oh, the rest of the day. Isn't that a great song? Maybe you need to cover it tonight when you guys play. <laughs> These pipes don't go that high, bro. <laughs> uh, I guess. But who are your musical influences? Cause I, man, <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Stupid. Um, Randy Travis. Okay. <laughs> They're from Kentucky, man. They love the, 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 the country music. Honestly, that was like the first. My parents so wanted me to grow up loving country music, and so for Christmas, I think it was like eight or nine, they got me a cassette tape player, and then like the Digging Up Bones cassette tape for Randy Travis, and and I rocked that for maybe like two weeks. That then I discovered rock and roll, and so yeah. I mean, and that was in in the mid mid to late eighties. So I mean, everything really. I mean, I'm a I'm a firm believer that there's no such thing as bad music. Um, because if it touches and inspires and, and, and affects somebody emotionally or physically, then that music's doing something. So it can't be bad. So, I mean, I try to take everything from, uh, from every musical influence, like from hip hop to all the way to classical music and yeah. the other guys in the band, they, they're eclectic too, man. We, we are, we are just so from tool to, uh, my, my youngest player, Kyle, the guy on guitar, he's a seventies, just uh savant he, he's in, yeah. into the 70s and 80s rock and it's just like kyle you're 24 how are you there you know what i'm <laughs> saying i played a lot of guitar hero as a kid yeah. <laughs> right yeah so yeah because i if if someone was to ask me who do these who does three days under sound like and and, and i think you got a little cedar in you you know which i like i'm a fan of cedar I, yeah i'm a fan I, of I like cedar them. and you got the flannel shirt on you know we just, we just <laughs> saw them and it was almost like they were skeet shooting out back and then oh, we, you know and then oh, you guys are on this, yeah we're, we're oh, oh, all okay, right okay we got it we gotta go sing now yeah you know put down the what put down the guns <laughs> actually i when when my uh picture up here showed up on the camera i was looking at it and you guys ever seen home alone yeah yeah i feel like that i'm the younger version of that old man 
um, Macaulay Culkin <laughs> scared of. I feel like he's going to be dragging a trash can and a snow shovel, you know? <laughs> Looking rough today, guys. Looking rough. Oh, oh man. Well, um, I, uh, I rolled out of bed like, I don't know, 15 minutes before we did this. So <laughs> I was like, when I clicked on the camera, I said to Aaron, I went, I look all right. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, um, I was thinking earlier when I was, when I was listening to your music, you're kind of like faith. Had you guys, you guys played with faith head. Yeah. Yeah. A couple shows. Yeah. How did that go? Um, they're always good. I love those guys. I love Pete Funk and his crew. Um, they're just, they're just genuinely good guys and not to spoil anything, but we may or may not be hitting the road with them a week, um, next year and, and maybe another band, um, that, uh, I, I bet they would kill me if I said anything, but here's That's a spoiler right. alert. Yeah. It's bread for war, faith head and three days under doing a week run. You've oh heard it here gosh. first. Hey, can we, uh, already- can we make a trip out to the South, Aaron? <laughs> oh, it's can't already wait. booked. Can't wait to move. Now, Dan- can't wait Dan's to going to kill me. Yeah. Well, it's all right. Um, that's going to be a great show, though. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a barn burner. Now, I when I listen to you, man, you sound like a like a bar band. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean it in a really good way. Like I could uh, go out, hang out and uh, you guys sound like you might get a little rowdy on stage. Yeah, uh, we love to get rowdy on stage. Um, and honestly, the bar is where we'd rather be anyway. I don't I don't throw me in a church somewhere, even though we're going to play two churches back to back tonight. But the Disciple Factory is like a biker church type deal. Oh, for really? all those people. Yeah, dude. I mean, like the, the unwanted of society or the, those are the doors that are open. Uh, people in, that are addicted or trying to get out of addiction or struggling. But we want to be in the bars. That's exactly where we want to be. And if people can groove to us in a bar. They'll be sitting there having their drinks and their dinner or whatever they're doing. They're still getting the message, whether they know it or not. So, right. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I mean, I could totally see like you and Faith had. I, I, I want to go see that show. Yeah. <laughs> our first, our, our first show with Faith Head was in a bar slash pizzeria in Nashville back in, I think, eighteen, maybe seventeen or eighteen. We played with them down there, and dude. If you've never yeah. seen a drunken prayer circle at 2 a.m., <laughs> you should have been there. It was good. It was good. It was good. You know, during the uh, during the show, did you have to, like, call out the numbers for the pizzas that were ready? Or <laughs> uh, No, no, Lenny, the guy, Lenny, who owns the place, he, 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 would, he would holler him out. So <laughs> is that when you walk in and there's a stage and, and a floor monitor and they're like, here's your setup, guys. Yeah. And it's like, okay. I see how this show is going to go tonight. <laughs> hey, there's no jumping around tonight. <laughs> no, no. All right. Well, um, Aaron, what do we got lined up for some uh, three days under? Uh, bleeding through. Bleeding through? Yeah. All right. We're going to do bleeding through, and then we'll come back and talk to Patrick some more from all the way from Kentucky on the Rock Salt. Yeah. 